I still can't believe you went. What are you thinking? Going to that place. I wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess, but you did. You can't run forever. I know you were just trying to do right by me, so I need you to do what's right by us now. Please, Kaz. I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be over. I want you home. The girls want you home, but... If you don't deal with this, then we are done for good. I love you. And I won't wait forever. Jesus. 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 Girls need you a Christmas card. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll be there in a minute, Trots. Aye, well, didn't wait too long or someone will be halfway. Aye, yeah, all right. Ah, sorry, girls. Quite right, Trots. in this place. Davy must have gone back on shore last night. I'm all right. What are you doing up there? Pipes leaking. If it's not one thing, it's the other. See this old rig? It's a pile of shite. It's falling apart. And we've only just started drilling. Fucking Cadal. And fucking Rennick cutting corners. Aye. Speaking of, you are in the shite, wee man. Rennick got a letter this morning from the mainland and he's been up to high dough ever since. 
I heard he's gunning for you. Well, that's just brilliant. Christ, I need a smoke. Can't find my lighter anywhere. Take mine. I don't need it anymore, honestly. You're a fucking lifesaver. I'm going to get breakfast. All right. I'll see you for darts tonight. We'll put a wee picture of Rennick up on the board for you. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. See ya. Doesn't he surprise me? Prick. This is cozy. Tight bastards. Hope there's some leftovers. You all right, Roy? Cars, me old mucker. I do. I think it's the polis. Can't be surprised, Kaz. Have you heard from Sue's? She's talking about divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaz. She'll come around. Not if I get the jail, she won't. Well, maybe you could have considered that while you were battering Billy Chamberlain's head in. Cunt slagged off Sue's. He had it coming. And there he is. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee, and swears like the devil himself. Listen, mate, even if it is the polis, maybe it's best to just go back and face it, yeah? Ugh, I don't know, Roy. I'm fucking scun up with the whole thing. The Lord loves you, mate, no matter what. And I'm pretty sure Suze does too. That's all clear for you now, Roy. Lovely job, thanks, Dobby. Oh, Trot says he's left your insulin in your cabin. Oh, bless his little communist socks. Muchly appreciated. Ta. Remember, 
Life is like football. It's not over. Until the final whistle. Aye. You're a Barnsley fan, so you're pretty much fucked from the off, right? Oh, I will see you hand for that McCleary. Off you trot, lad, before his nibs blows a gasket. Look, there's no escaping. There's going to be a dozen mayor rigs up here by the end of next year because the pricks in Westminster want their grubby wee hands on Scotland's oh, oil. Christ, no this again. The bear is already down to the bare bones. And Cadal are just going to make more cuts to get other rigs on the go. If we don't take industrial action soon, oh, this place... come on! If we don't take industrial action soon, this place will be even more of a death trap than it already is. He's got a point though, Gibble. We're down to a skeleton crew in the pontoons and it's ropey as fuck down there. Workers of the world unite! What do you think, Kaz? <sighs> I don't know. Just here it affects the lecky. <laughs> what do you think will be keeping the lights on if this place falls apart? That's coal, you numpty! <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, boys? No bad, Kaz. Raf's here's a bit shaky, though. Gonna be the lad's first solo dive this morning. All right. Ah, you'll be all right, pal. Bet you with the big man here looking out for you. Have you done it before? Christ, no. I'll stick to the lecky, thanks. No great in tight spaces, and it's blowing a gale out there. Really filling the lad with confidence there, Kaz. Yeah. Sorry, wee man. Don't worry about it. Brody's got you. Enjoying your last day, McCleary. What's that supposed to mean? You've been a naughty boy, from what I've heard. Ah, give peace. You're not exactly an angel yourself, I dare. I'll be fine. Well, you'll not be missed. You wouldn't know a day's graft if it slapped you in the face. <laughs> I'd like to see you try and do my job. You wouldn't know a spark plug from a fucking hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your mouth, McCleary. Home sweet home. 